if you could break down what leads to most gut disorders, like, yeah. like summarize it. Um, I'm not saying like oversimplify it, but if you were to summarize what you see and what's caused it, what, how would you summarize that? In the brain perspective, like I said earlier, if you have a brain issue, you can almost guarantee that if you don't have a gut issue yet, you will. It's just a, it is going to happen, especially if you don't do anything about it. Um, but I would say um, as a society, it, it really is just our eating habits yeah. and our our sleep habits really mess with our gut because you have these people that are in, in brain, just letting you know. If I had to choose one thing that I'm like, this is the one thing that you can start doing for yourself, it's have good sleep hygiene. It has to be number one. What do you one. mean by that? Um, not you know, looking at your phone okay. before bed, making That's sure why you said you practice what you preach about yes. social media and screen time. Yeah, I, I do. I mean, it's not like I'm perfect. It's not like I don't look something, especially if I have to set an alarm, because usually that's the one thing I do um, sometimes. But it really is to get a daylight alarm. Have you ever heard of those? I, I actually just got a um I actually just got a light bulb that I hooked up to my an app yeah. that if I'm going to wake up, it just automatically turns on. Okay. So I am going to start doing that. That's so I'm pretty Does it turn all the way it. on? Yeah. Yeah, it can, which yeah. would wake me up, which yes. would mimic the sun yes. for me. Not 100% the sun, but way better than being in pitch black darkness while your alarm's going off. The, uh, the super loud alarm, like the... Like the tornado siren. No way. Like I can't. That stresses me out. No. Like I get. Like when I see that on show. Like I was watching some Better Call Saul, and that's how he wakes up it's with mm -hmm. the like the old school like hotel alarm. That would especially if you already live in that. You know how people call sympathetic dominance. Yeah, like fight or flight. Fight or flight. No way. <laughs> um, if that light bulb doesn't work, uh, or you don't like it, let me know because I found this. It's called Hatch. It's on Amazon. Hatch, send me a check. <laughs> and it will, you can choose the light. So at night, I set it on red light because mm -hmm. red light's supposed mm -hmm. to help you, calm you, work yeah. on your parasympathetic, all of that. In the morning, you can you can set the color and then it will go from dim to bright. Mm -hmm. And then I also have, I sleep with the noisemaker and the noisemaker will slowly... Dampen. Turn off, That's which nice. that wakes me up usually more than the light does, which is so weird. It's such a Pavlovian response. But then I have birds chirping as the... Oh, and that's that, lovely. It's awesome. That is lovely. I can't explain it. I feel so... Um, that's it. Yeah, I feel so... I, oh, I, I've seen that. I used to say I feel so, like, soft. Yeah. Like, I feel like I don't think David Goggins wakes up <laughs> with a daylight alarm. But then I was like, well, but this is me. And like we talked before, uh -huh. do you have a lot of your veterans who are like embarrassed? They're like, man, my life and my brain, my brain's messed up. I know I have problems and I'm embarrassed. And yeah, they were serving our country. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. Let's get you better. Yeah. Brother, I, or sister. I, I work. I've worked with a lot of people in the military and a lot of special forces too. Like I've worked with, I mean, every single member is an important vital member, oh, yeah. but I've, I've definitely heard that because I mean, you, they do put their body through a rigorous process that excelled in, and now they're here and they're like, huh, how can I not remember the last three things I just did, but I was able to do all that really cool stuff back then. Sure. And so, yeah, that, and I think embarrassment is a, a huge part of it, lack of understanding. And I would say sometimes it's such a bridge of a gap of knowing that you have something and accepting that you have something, because I would say that's where a lot of people struggle. And those are the people that are probably looking at our website, seeing if they should become a patient or not. And they're like, I do, but I don't. I do, but I don't. I do. Sure. Um, and so because it is a kind of a problem. I mean, it was a problem for me. Accepting it. Yeah, because I if you really because I think there's such a stigma so, uh, surrounding it. And if you, you really see it more as like it, it's not a not a fatal diagnosis or anything like that. It's really, truly like, hey, you could use a little help. Let me help you make your life a little better. That can move the needle quite a bit. But for me, I was like, I'm a straight A student. I'm not the sick one. My mom's usually the sick one. Like, I excel in everything I do. Like, what? 
Like, how am I having issues, you know? And so until you kind of get humbled quite a few times and you maybe get into a few fender benders because you couldn't tell how... Speaking my language. Yeah, yeah, how far away. Or you have to call your husband because you took a wrong turn and then you're like, I don't even know where I'm at and my maps isn't working. You're like, can you direct me back home? I don't know where I'm at. And you're like five minutes from home. So... Wow. Yeah, so things like that. Are How things... long ago was the last time that happened to you? Oh, thank the Lord that happened like quite a quite a long time ago. I would say about four or five years ago. Okay. It's still scary, man. Super scary. Yeah. Super scary. I mean. It's crazy. Yeah. And things that you kind of. And then because you do other processes so well, yeah. like, oh, I took, I passed all of my board exams on the first try. I, you know work out quite often i mean i go to the gym i lift weights i do hit exercises i you know but you ended up in denton not duncanville or i don't whatever. know where i was yeah. going <laughs> i just remember being like i need help it's crazy yeah 